Hey, that's kids. Welcome back to cleaning. That's my 3D cleaning motion. Ooh, just pretend you have 3D glasses on. Okay, we are gonna get on some some tunes, and I'm gonna get jazzed up and get this clean because I need to get some work done for the other channels. And I really work so much better in a clean space. This is something I've discovered about my productivity: is if I want to be productive, I need a clean place, space that feels at least kind of organized for me. Um, and that's when I'm most productive and most creative. So for me, cleaning is not just therapeutic and calming because I love the process. Then it gives me an environment where I can be relaxed and creative. And that's really, that's really important for me. So let's, um, yeah, uh -huh. this is just like mess. So much mess that I don't want to show you. Like maybe I should just time lapse this. <laughs> How honest do I want to be? Uh, yeah, oh my God. Oof, oof. It's, it's that balance, you know, in homemaking of do you create the perfect home for the family or do you create the perfect space in which to teach young people how to be productive members of society, aka cleaning. And those two things butt heads a lot, right? And I'm kind of of the school where if you do everything for your family, they don't learn how to really be good, productive, kind, caring, thoughtful people. So, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta look at the mess and go, okay. Now this this part I'm gonna create for myself. This is my, my perfect homemaking spot. Um, and so whenever you see messes, because I know I get these messages, they're like, oh my god, how do you let your house get that messy? Because I am teaching young people how to how to create a space, and it takes a lot of uh, a lot of struggle. Well, yes, uh -huh. <laughs> but we've succeeded. I don't film a lot of the you know young people cleaning because like that's just not my shindig um because you know they need their their privacy and space too um but i will include my section of as i clean this part because we all need inspiration to clean i'm holding on to you i don't know if you can tell that because we all need to be a little bit inspired to clean because otherwise um i would just sit and eat my my Trader joe's cookies that i bought did i eat four of them last night like in a blink i never used to eat store-bought cookies I blame the pandemic. It has made me eat store-bought cookies, which I never thought that day would come, but it's in. Okay, let's get clean. is, you know, I pick up anything that used to go in a trash bag. Ta-da! And... Yeah. And then I'm gonna do laundry. I have a bunch of mixed match socks out, and I'll pick those up. Oh, I found something on the side table. Oh, don't know why there's a plastic spoon by my bed, but going with them. Oh, yeah. Okay, and then I put this to the side of the room and wait and see, and then I pick up all my clean stuff, which is a fabulous assortment of mismatched socks, things, and my burlesque costumes. Um, <laughs> so I have a clean laundry basket that I've got to get through. And then I also have, I'm sorry, I said that all off camera, you can't hear me. I also have then a dirty laundry basket so that I can go around the house and collect all my clothes that, that need picking up. Oh yeah. Some of it's pre-folded and then young people distribute it throughout the house. And, ah. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do a really fun Patreon video. Woohoo, for my top tier, my all naturalism. Oh yeah, on neck massagers. And how we can kind of embrace our self-care in our bodies this summer by you know, getting back to nature, being comfortable in the skin that we're in, right? It's so powerful. Somehow I picked up the dirty laundry and didn't actually do anything. Okay, these are all clean. And it just lets me know what I need to do. Laundry, uh, clean things, folding, you know, it lets me kind of assess the whole situation by having 
trash bag, dirty laundry, and clean laundry. Oh yeah, if you want to do the whole cleaning video, which is a little bit less edited. Um, well, I shouldn't say less edited. I edited just as much. It's got longer reels and whatnot on it. So then, you're welcome to pop over to my Patreon. Let's, um, let's keep cleaning. How many socks can one woman own? The answer is a little bit obscene amount of socks, because I love socks, I do. They're my... Yeah, I can't resist socks. I just can't. They're so cozy, like fluffy socks. These aren't fluffy, but I have some fluffy socks that I'll admit. I love me some fluffy socks. Oh, these are some of them. These are thigh-high fluffy socks. I love these socks. Maybe more worlds of rose. They're awesome socks. Oh my goodness. I think my laundry basket is full of biscuits, which is always a bad sign that I have waited too long to do laundry. Okay. I am also, come with me, Brave Biscuits. I'm gonna throw away socks that I can't find a match for. I find this vaguely traumatic because it's hard for me to throw away socks. I'm convinced I'll eventually find them. But no, I've been looking for these for like over a year. They just go back in the hamper for more than a year. And I'm like, the time has come where I need to just, you just toss them. That time has come. It is here. It is upon us. And I can feel my hand wanting to go in there and get those socks out. Like, I might find them. No, clearly they have disappeared. They're like falling out of the car, trips. I don't know what has happened to them. Clearly. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh, my, my cozy robe. Oh, do we do fun? Woo! Fashion, fashion style. Oh yeah. Got some yoga to shoot in this puppy for the OnlyFans workout course. Okay. I feel like we're in a better place emotionally. Let's get them both <laughs> We're in a better place for cleaning. Put this over here, okay. Ooh, look at this. Oh yeah. We're getting there, we're getting there, biscuits. Bag clips. made so I pretty much tuck these back in all the time it's a little bit mad me that's why I'm experimenting with the different types of sheets yeah so much better oh we're clean at least a lot cleaner than we were. It's amazing. Right? Like 10, 15 minutes just cleans up your whole space. And for me at least, allows me to feel open to creativity and just calmer. I'm just a happier person when I clean. I, that's the aspect of homemaking I love the most. Oh, it's just feeling comfortable in my space. I will see you in the next video of Fabulous Biscuits. I post um, three times a week on my main channel and then I post one or two times a week on this channel because I get that question a lot. So if you're missing out, I'm like, oh, I'd like to see the daily vlogs and our travel vlogs and everything, hop on over to the other, other channel, the Wholesome Feed. Um, and in between there, I post every day on Instagram. Sometimes I take the weekend off, um, but I often post in stories on there anyway, just because, I don't know, I feel like you biscuits are part of the family, so I yeah, like to keep, keep updated. I am going to go shoot in my yellow yoga once I'm going to do some really fun ah, yoga poses for the OnlyFans course because we're jazzing it up. I even have a 80s style watermelon onesie thing uh, for our, we're Jane Fonda it up 
um, <laughs> on the workout course. We're gonna do some aerobics. Ooh, ooh, we got the leg warmers. We got the one piece. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, uh huh. It's um, it's goofy and fabulous. Okay. I love y'all. Big hugs. Oh, I hope that your home is making you feel calm and creative and at ease.